Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you how to create your own Google Ad account and how to set up your first search ad. So whatever business it is that you offer, if you sell bags, you sell shoes, you're a makeup artist, you're a stylist, whatever it is that you do, I'm going to be showing you how to create your own Google Ad account and how to create your first ad so your business is more visible on the Google Ad platform. It took me just 15 minutes. It is so simple, guys. So let's get into it. <laughs> okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to visit ads.google.com. Um, this is pretty much what the website looks like. So you just click the Start Now button. I have a lot of Google accounts, so I had to impersonate someone <laughs> basically to create this video. So you create, um, you, you click on new Google Ads account. Um, if you're signing into another Google account you don't want to use, you just to switch account like I did. Um, you enter your email address and your password. Once you sign up, uh, this is the next page you're going to see. So it's going to ask you if this is a new Google Ads account or you want to switch um, your Google Ads account. Sorry. So once you sign in, you notice there are three options for you to select one and it's asking you what is your main advertising goal? Do you want to get more phone calls? Do you want to get more website sales or sign-ups? Or do you want to get more visits to your physical location? Whatever you select at this stage, don't worry, it can be changed later on. But it just helps the system create a smart ad for you that is perfectly tailored to what you want to achieve. If you select the get more calls option, you have a space where you can enter your phone number and it's just easier and faster get more sales or get more websites it determines all this, the goals basically just tell google where to place your ads if you're saying get more visits to your physical location your ads will come up in google maps to come up when people are searching for a location or an address um, so your goal really just helps the system to know the best time to show your ad but don't worry it doesn't limit your ad in any way the switch to expert mode option, I will be taking that in the next video. So now you have to describe your business. What's your business name? You enter your business name and your website. So once you get on this page, you can already see that the platform is asking you where do you want your ads to appear and where do you want to find new customers. Because I'm in Nigeria and I'm doing this from Nigeria, it already automatically brings up Lagos, Ikeja, Ota, Ikorodu. And then on the right, you will see that you have a potential audience size. The more locations you add or the less you add, that number you know, either reduces or increases. So just keep your eye on that number just to make sure that you're not limiting your ads or you're not spreading your ad too thin. If you're trying to reach 10 million people, that's going to cost a bit of money. So. Just make sure that you are narrowing down to where your business is or the people in what area you are trying to reach. So you notice when I take out all the locations, the audience size disappears. When I add Ikeja, I have 459,000 people I'm targeting now. So for this tutorial, um, I'm just going to target Ikeja. I'm trying to find phase one or lucky phase one, but I can't really find that. I tried looking for Victoria Island. That didn't come up either. So we'll just do Ikeja and Leki. So that's about a million people. That's fine. Let's just see if Aja is here. Okay, no, there's no Aja. <laughs> okay, so next. Now what you want to do is you want to add keywords. What are the keywords that are unique to the kind of business or service that you offer? So if you sell bags, for instance, 
ones so just type bags online you see that more options come up and you can just you know take from there and if you look on the right you can see your potential audience size so of what's basically, what's basically happening is of those 920 something thousand people you can now narrow down based on the interests who are those that are interested or looking for bags and shoes online for girls for instance so the more options you add the more options google automatically gives you and you can just tap the plus sign to select all the different kinds of bags that you sell Once you select your keywords, the next thing you need to do is create your ad. So let's say we want to go with designer bags now available, for instance, just to get people's attention, you know. So anything you enter into headline one, headline two, you notice on the right, it starts to show you a preview of what your ad will look like and don't be worried there's no there's no perfect way to do it if you add any incorrect characters google will instantly tell you oh this is incorrect take that out so you can totally play with the system just try it out so let's say we're going with designer bags now available affordable prices i'm just trying to put things that people just their eyes will just catch when they see an ad let's say someone is looking for bags in lecky for instance and the first thing they see is designer bags now available at affordable prices. I feel like that would get anyone's attention. There's a keyword limit per. There's a keyword limit per. What's this thing called now? There's a keyword limit per line, so you can coin out your words as smart as you want them to just so that you can get the most important bits of what you want out there so if you're running a promo you're running a sales this is where you just want to enter those keywords so that anyone that sees your ad is attracted to it honestly i'm, I'm just gonna go with anything that comes to my mind right now Because top of my mind for an average, top of my mind for an average shopper is they're looking for original, they're looking for good prices, and they're looking for name brands. So that's what I was working with here. Once you're done entering the details, you can decide to write another ad immediately or just proceed. If you notice, I was trying to use strokes to differentiate or separate the words and Google instantly told me that that's a policy violation. So I'm just going to take those out and use commas. Now, if you recall, we selected the get more phone calls goal. So here you enter your business number. And if you notice, there's the, there's the call sign on the preview of your ad which means once people click that ad, they're able to call automatically. Now here you select your budget. As you can see, you can spend as low as $5 a day on your advert. This is completely up to your pocket. So select what you're comfortable with spending on a daily basis on your ads, depending on how many people you think are searching for your product in the area that you selected. You only pay for ads that get clicked on or calls to your business. Google doesn't charge you for people viewing your ads. You only pay per click. Um, here you select your currency. And you need to remember that whatever currency you select at this point, 
you might be unable to change later on. Now the next page gives you a review page for you to see everything you selected and how your ad is going to perform. Google is basically telling you that based on your budget and your location and your keywords, you are likely to get at least 52,000 to 87,000 impressions per month. That's basically how many people are going to see your ad per month based on your location and your keywords only. And if you spend $9 every day on this campaign, and they're also estimating you have about 3,600 clicks. To me, that sounds like a lot of clicks or calls to your business for what you're selling. Again, this is all this all boils down to what your ad is saying and how attractive it is to the people that are being exposed to it in that area. So this page just reminds you of everything you selected. Your campaign goal is you want more calls to your business, your location, as you can see, you have Lekki and you have Iketa. And it's show, also showing you a monthly maximum of $274 for the month. Once you click next, now you just enter your time zone. If you have any promo codes from Google, from any promos or campaigns they're running, you can enter that. Um, your account type, if it's a business account or it's an individual account. Business account is mostly for people that are running ads on behalf of people. But if it's an individual account, just select individual. Enter your card details. Fill in your card details, your address, and submit. And as you can see, you can use a Nigerian card. It's totally fine. So here you have it. We have created your first search ad in less than 20 minutes. Please try this out. Let me know if you have any questions, if you have any concerns, if anything wasn't clear. Please know that this is also the smart ad option. In subsequent videos, I'll show you the expert mode, how to create video ads, how to create a lot more ads, how to link your account to Google Analytics just so that you are seeing what's happening on your website, how long people are spending on your site, what are they clicking, what are they buying, all the apps you can use to monitor your consumers and know what products they're looking for and what you are not providing. There's so much guys <laughs> and I can't wait. So try this out. Let me know if you have any issues. Send me an email if you need any help and I would help you create it and you can just start running your ads by yourself. It's easy, it's simple, it's free. All right guys, thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe if this was helpful and let me know what other videos you would like to see going forward. Thank you, bye.